Hey guys, it's your boy JK. Welcome to Justin Wack and the Big Time Hack. The big thank you to the devs for sending me this game early. As you can see in the bottom left of the screen, it says beta and no streaming until 23rd of the 8th, which is when the game is released. And I did play a little bit of this game. I really liked it. It's a time traveling point and click adventure puzzle game. And it's really story focused as well. It's really quite an interesting game. Howdy player, I'm Dayla and I man the phones here at the Warm Kitten Hint Chat. Should you get stuck too long on a puzzle, you can find me in the game's pause menu. Oh, and before I go, on account of tutorials being like, really boring, I just snuck a help note into Justin's inventory instead. Would you like to see that intro again, or would you rather just jump into the game? Intro, I'm guessing the intro is like at the introduction to the story, so I guess we'll play that. One intro coming up. Enjoy your game. This is story focused, so I'm not going to cut a lot out of this. Act 1, the grand scheme of things. Somewhere in time, a brother is being mourned. Dash, go on, QP43. And then I found him, but with his head. Yes? His head was... It was blown straight off, Doc. Krapotilas. We're looking at a stone cold killer here, QP43. Yes, stone cold, Doc. And of course, I'm working on my revenge. Oh, of course. And are you making any progress? Oh, yes, I'm closing in on him, Doc. You can be certain of that. <laughs> Not again, Clute. I've told you a thousand times, this is an all-vegan daycare. <laughs> You're not allowed to cook rabbits. Go, go, go. Don't try to speak dinosaur, Clute. UK folk just don't have the capacity for it. <sighs> And no sulking either. This is a happy all vegan daycare. Way later. Hi, Julia. I think we need to talk. Let me stop you right there. Justin, I have the best news ever. I just took in this beautiful stray cat. Meet Oligarch. Isn't he just the cutest? Oh. Oh? Oh what? Oh. As in... Oh. You didn't know I was allergic? Allergic? Really? Yeah. So, if we're serious about this whole moving in together business... This whole moving in together business? Mm-hmm. Well, good for you. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly how my partner and I argue. <laughs> so, I guess it's either me or Oligarch. Your choice, Julia. So, Justin, I heard about you and Julia. I guess she's now out and about, so to speak, eh? Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. I see. Maybe I'll run it by her instead. Wait a minute. Is that a dating site? Yeah. I thought maybe... I should get a profile up on datamate.com. Stupid idea, though. It just makes me miss her more. All the profiles just remind me that no one compares to her. That's some heartbreaking stuff right there, Justin. for a snack, eh? Yeah. 
I haven't eaten for days. It's time I snapped out of this thing and got back to living my life again. Starting with sniffing around for some leftovers. a boy, Justin. All right, the first thing I want to show you guys is, is this. You know, with all these buttery smooth animations around, I don't think I really need it. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm afraid that thing hasn't worked for a long time. I think I might be bitter enough as it is. <laughs> I don't really need an apron to heat up some food. No metal in micro. <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen? You know where I could find something to eat? Maybe there's something lurking around inside that fridge. Or maybe in the freezer. I know what to do. I just want to like something melancholic around. in the air today. Even the parallaxes look a bit dreary. I really feel I ought to eat something before I get on with my day. I want to get as much dialogue as I can because they've done so well with this game. Hey, that thing has been in there since back in the 90s or something. I really wouldn't touch it if I were you. I sure don't expect this tinfoil bottom to cause any problem in the microwave or anything. <laughs> Your confidence is an inspiration to us all here at the office, Justin. <laughs> what the? Ay caramba! It is face. This moldy onion from the 90s <laughs> combined with tin and microwaves <laughs> makes a one heck of a cocktail. I really must insist you do something about this mess of yours, Justin. Hmm. Got something specific in mind? Well, I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Maybe just wipe it off with a towel or something. Wipe it off with a towel? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not a soup stain, Reefs. Wipe it off with a towel. Yes, no problem. Let's just go in. Okay. Let's do this. I have decided to go and have a quick look around for that onion pie. If, for some reason, I don't make it back, tell Julia I went off on this great adventure. No need to mention the onion pie, though. Sure, I'll take care of Julia, should anything go wrong. Scout's order. What do you think he meant by take care of Julia? <laughs> hmm. Where am I? Like Rick or and maybe Morty. It's, when am I? Uh, hello there. Sorry to interrupt. You haven't seen any onion pies around, have you? <laughs> I guess whoever is in there isn't very keen to talk. Or is already munching away on that pie. I don't think anyone's been as hungry as, as my dude here. He's gone back in time just for a frozen pie that's probably been Not in there Not to be squeamish ages. or anything, but there's way too many bugs around for me to go sticking my hand in there. Whoa, I haven't even seen that dinosaur before. Hey, wait. Was that a caveman? Holy crap, I'm stuck in this place. <gasps> and now to bag myself another time traveler. I'll be real slick about it, too. Hey, time traveler. Or should I say, Justin? Uh, yeah? I've been expecting you. Really? Mm-hmm. It took me many days of hard work to get things ready for your arrival. Well, sorry to cause you so much trouble. Oh, you will be sorry. Where I come from, we don't take kindly to unauthorized time travelers. No, sir. Uh, 
Where did you say you come from? I come from the future. Well, I guess technically so do you at the moment, having just traveled back in time and all. But I'm from the real future. A future that would seem futuristic even to you. Man, I am already slightly confused. This isn't going to be super confusing, right? Not really, no. Well, it was nice to meet you and all, but... Nice? Meeting a Pythonic agent? <laughs> I'll tell you what you're about to meet next. What? Your untimely demise. I love the comedy in this game. Hmm. So I know that's probably not meant for me, but I've got to say, that coffee smells great. Silence, prisoner. This is no coffee shop, and I sure ain't no barista bot. Though I'm often told I make an excellent brew. Okay, here's how it's gonna go down, time traveler. First, I'll power up the Interatron 300. Then we'll have our little session. And then... My... untimely demise? Bingo! Ooh. Hello, Dino. I can't reach you from here. Psst. E excuse me, Mr. Caveman. Sir, maybe the cavemen haven't learned to communicate using language yet. Silence! There will be no interaction between you and your accomplice. Accomplice? I've never seen that guy before. Really? Because according to the chronology, a caveman was supposed to travel to your time. I caught that big guy just before you showed up, thinking he was the one. I guess the real caveman must have escaped through the portal. I'm gonna have to send another agent to track him down. Gee, I wonder what that guy is doing in my office right now. <laughs> His face! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. So you don't speak the lingo, huh? No worries, big fella. Your predecessor never said much of interest anyway. Welcome to the crew, my fuzzy-looking friend. Mm. Go. 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 Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. What the hell? <laughs> oh, jeez. This is basically where I got up to uh, almost. It's going to be all unknown territory uh, soon. Well, hi there, my scruffy looking friend. Welcome to Convo Lift 200 from the company that brings you both elevation and uplifting conversation. Which floor would you like to go to? Go, go, go. Voice commands must be specified in English, please. Okay, you gotta learn some English. So, with this game, you've got a journal which tells you what to do. So, go learn, go talk. It also looks like the pixels <laughs> that were covering my bits are in my inventory. <laughs> what? <laughs> Probably the coolest feature here is that you can actually switch between the characters on the fly. That is very cool. Go, go. Oh. Go, go. <laughs> we just take the paint cartridge, sure. Or print a cartridge. Uh, computer. Go, go. Ag, ag. Dictionary. Mm. I think that'll solve go. our issues. Oh. Go, go. All right. We need dictionary. Eureka! I think I've got this English thing now. Now that I can finally express myself, there's no way that this caveman is ever going back to those weird dinosaurs back in my own time. Hey, Justin. Cavemen? 
coexisting with dinosaurs? What are you on about? Whoa. You really let yourself go there, Justin. <laughs> I mean, I know you've been missing Julia a lot, but like... Julia? Still can't stop thinking about her, huh? Well, I might actually have some good news for you. So here's the thing. I've been thinking a lot about the concept of time lately. It's like, there's really no reason you should feel sad about Julia. Not if you consider the grand scheme of things. Go on. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not important who's feeling what or who's seeing whom at any particular time. Oh? Mm-hmm. You see, even if you guys had stayed together for the rest of your lives, your lives would only have added up to this teeny weeny bit of time in the grand scheme of things anyway. So, any couple of any species breaking up or staying together turns out to be, well, a statistical non-issue, really. In the grand scheme of things? Right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. So now I've gone from Ooga Ooga to I'm a Pom. I think it's Pommy voice, isn't it? A lady with blue hair? Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong. Ding dong. <laughs> You're basically naked. All right. <laughs> what the fuck? The lady with blue. Once again. <laughs> Once again, Ding dong. Oh, wow. They actually did like repeated dialogues. That's cool. They put a lot of effort into this game. It's a website called dateandmate.com. Whoever owns this computer has created a profile called G. Threepwood. Not much of a profile text, it just reads, Yeah, so I like a load of stuff, I guess. Like the band Rush are really cool. There's no profile picture either. Sure, I'll come up with some snazzy profile text. Just give me a minute. Okay, so I don't mean to brag or anything, but the profile text came out pretty, pretty good. <laughs> All that remains now is a profile photo. And while this apron is better than my old pixels, <laughs> I think I'm going to need something more snazzy to do the profile justice. Holy crap, I love this game. One says, Ask about what kind of stuff Julia is into. Real smooth like. Signed reefs. It says, Put up to do board. <laughs> the Dun note says, Put up the to do board. Anybody there? What's up, Justin? So, whose cubicle is this? Well, it's yours, Justin. I believe you were setting up a new account on that dating site. Right, the dating site. What are you doing back there? Well, I'm working. Okay, you got me. I should be working on getting that stupid AI lift replaced with a traditional one. But I'm actually watching Airplane again. I know, I know. I remember the intervention. No Leslie Nielsen during work hours. Airplane. I well, freaking thanks love for the that chat. movie. See you around, Justin. And it might be time you got a haircut and some clothes. All right, all right. I know I need haircut clothes. USB some slot. Some sort of computer slot thingy. Oh, a poem. It reads, Julie, Julie, don't be so cruelly. Come back to Justin, the one to put your trust in. Pretty powerful stuff. <laughs> it reads, this thing is infected with some serious viruses. Don't touch. You're standing in a hall. You hear a kind of scary noise to the west. There are footsteps approaching from the north. Wait, what? Hang on, was, was there a question? You bump into a troll. And he bumps into you. That is to say, you bump into each other. You and the troll, that is. Uh... As you hit the troll, a great mirror cracks in front of you. It seems you were the troll all along. And those footprints were nothing but your overactive troll imagination. Here's ten points, by the way. There's a cracked mirror on the floor. Ten points to Gryffindor. Oh no. <laughs> troll blood everywhere. Your quest is over. What the hell? 
You're standing in a hall. You hear there are foot. This is pretty cool. There's a chicken in here. Talk to the you. Halt, chicken. Chicken. Are you the slayer of this here egg layer? <laughs> you. Alas, I lack the knowledge of self. Chicken. Then peck you to death is what I shall do. Your quest is over. <laughs> Holy crap. Your stand. There are foot. The greatest horror game ever made is within this game. You are carrying nothing but your memories. A heavy load, to be sure. If only you could make some sense of it all. There has to be a reason for all this. Your uh, quest is over. Your quest is over. Scruff boy, which floor Scruff would you like boy. to go to? Maybe we'll start at the top? Take me to the top. There's no holding this caveman back. If you could please state your command in a less melodramatic way. Okay, so it looks like I have to pick bottom floor. Bottom floor, please. <laughs> bottom floor it is. But first, let's just make sure you truly are an employee here at Mediocre IT. Using an amazing one gazillion megapixel face scan. One gazillion. Facial scan failed. All my megapixels tell me that you do not work here. So I guess I need to shave and close. The weather isn't as sunny as I'm used to, and there's a hint of something melancholic in the air. I don't even know what the word melancholic means. Yuck. I've had one of those before. I'm never sinking my teeth into one of those things again. <laughs> but I would get all greasy. I'm a civilized caveman now. <laughs> okay, so outsmart that lift, finish the dating profile, find a snazzy looking outfit, get out of the office and explore this new world. That's an interesting idea, but the pixels would just fall off. Okay, I was just like doing it for the hell of doing it. I didn't think you'd have a dialogue for it. That's pretty interesting. What if I put my pixels on her face? I don't <laughs> think so. All right, what we might do is we might ta try taking a break from the caveman and checking on Justin. Tin can. Yuck! It stinks of sardines. Oh, he likes that. Yeah. I really wish I could reach that thing. That thing? No secret interrogation chamber is complete without the aroma of fresh coffee. So they have working coffee here, but not in the office in the current time. You, Mr. Robot, sir. <sighs> you do not, you who, an agent of the Pythonic Empire. Pythonic? Yes, Pythonic. I kind of like saying that. Pythonic. Noted. I don't suppose you could just let me out of here? You suppose you're right. When I track down time travelers, I do things by the book. Incarcerate, interrogate, liquidate. Oh. I caramba! I caramba, is you right? So, what do agents of the Pythonic Empire do for fun? Well... We're all big fans of Agent Ruthless. Who? Oh? Agent Ruthless. He's a huge star back in my time. Has his own show on Netflix and everything. Would you like to have your own show too? Would I? I mean... Do you think I've got what it takes in terms of ruthlessness, I mean? <laughs> I don't know if I should be nice or mean. If I say that you don't seem ruthless, will he get ruthless? Actually, that's a good point. You don't seem very ruthless to me. Bah! Just you wait until after our interrogation session. I'll show you the true meaning of ruthlessness. What have I, I caramba. done? <laughs> I caramba is right. Let's try the other, so... Oh, ruthless. you're ruthless! Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> I can picture it now. Agent QP42. The show that makes Agent Ruthless look like a mere amateur in the field of ruthlessness. QP42? That's your name? Well, it's my serial number. Why? Oh, uh, no reason. What, you don't think it has a nice ring to it? I mean, I know it's not Agent Ruthless or whatever. It's a very nice name. <laughs> well, 
Thanks for the chat. Yes, yes, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Gumnastics, the strongest gum in the galaxy. You need lungs of steel to blow any bubbles with it. But when they pop, they pop loud. No reception. No surprise there. Justin Wack, IT support technician. It has all my personal details on there. Hold space to see hotspots, drag and drop items in the hotspots, use mouse wheel, scroll items. Ask me for hints if you get stuck, I'm in the menu. Thank you, Dahlia. I'm sure I am okay. So far. Excuse me. Could I interest you in this fine tin of sardines, sir? <laughs> I never mean for these things to happen. <laughs> I sure hope I didn't do any permanent damage to the poor guy. What was the point of, like, basically killing the caveman? What the hell? Oh! Butterfly- Ah, oh, we grabbed his net. Okay. Okay, now. Don't be scared, little buddy. And he goes away. Ah, oh, crap! What if I use this on here? And now we have a comm device? You have reached the Pyphonic Robotics Online, the one-stop shop for all your robotic needs. Oh, I'd like to report a faulty unit, please. Oh my god. We got his serial number. I'd like to report a faulty unit, please. I see. Could you tell me the serial number of the faulty unit, please? QP42. Hmm. Let me check. We do have that unit on file. Please on while I take this unit out of circulation. Oh shit. Oh, what's this? Incoming transmission? Shelf destruct? <laughs> oh no. Crap was. Are you hearing this, time traveler? Sorry, what? You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? Oh, you mean... The whole self-destruction thing. Well... Sorry and all, but you were going to liquidate me, you know? Well, let my final log message reflect that I was somehow compromised by unauthorized time traveler, Justin Wack. And also, the Pythonic Empire would be wise to invest in a more modern power source for its interrogation devices. That was an underwhelming self-destruct. Even in death, he doesn't stop working. Hey, there's a pin on it. Hey, there's a pin on Those it. Those snakes kind of give me the shakes. Freedom! Okay, now to find my way home to my own time. Shouldn't be that hard for a resourceful IT support technician of my caliber. It's still not fully powered up. I don't think I'll be able to get that thing open. This is the Pyphonic Robotics Hotline, as seen on a smash hit show, Agent Rufus, no less. Can I... what if I... uh... There, there's like another unit option. I'd like to report... I oh, see. Could you tell me the serial number? Let's try this one. MT36. Oh, that agent has already been taken out of circulation on good old MT36. Obsessed with interrogation he was. He was recently liquidated by another agent, and a particularly mean one at that. I don't recall the agent's name, but I wouldn't mess with that guy. Interesting. Sorry, don't ha- I, I need to send out a general distress message. So, what's up? 
Just pranking. Nothing to report at the moment. Oh, you had me all excited there for a while. <laughs> Have a good day. Any day in service of the Pyphonic Empire is a good day, sir. While I can see how letting the poor guy out would be the decent thing to do, it might just put my physical health in danger. <laughs> Not wrong. Good old QP42, still charging the Interatron 300? Maybe it's some kind of mechanical rigor mortis. Hmm. Let's have a look. Top secret time travelers to bring to justice. Whoa, there is a ton of names in this. Holy crap. Bruh, Lisa Simpson. <laughs> I'm sure that you guys probably could recognize a ton more names than what I can. I can't even stress enough like how massive this list is. What a list. All right. Ha. Huh. For some reason, I expected robots to have more human-like handwriting. But I guess that doesn't really make much sense. Oh, I just realized the banner says MT-36's secret interrogation dungeon. It reads MT-36's oh, secret interrogation dungeon. The water never looked this clean back home. Looks like an accurate depiction of me falling for Julia. It's also nice to know that the Pythonic Empire is sticklers for safety regulations. Oh, you can walk across the bridge to the controls. Hmm. Not too sure how to work these. I see a Bluetooth symbol on the panel, though. Bluetooth? No reception. Next gen Bluetooth. Oh, we have that butterfly in it. I'm afraid the bugs are too small to catch with a butterfly net. That Besides, would make sense. I don't think I need any sticky sap at the moment. That is also true. We'll just casually go up to this dinosaurs. Love the flaring nostrils. That is great. A fistful of dino snot <laughs> is not currently on my shopping list. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Go to the road. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. Can't do it. And the kid behind me isn't making the humiliation any easier. <laughs> How about this tiny stone? Oh, look at you go, bro. All right. I feel I've gotten a bit stronger. Oh. Okay. Now I feel even stronger. Hang on a second. So does that mean I can lift this now? Oh! That's it! I feel ready to take on the world! Any more training and I'd have to apply for gun licenses for these here biceps! <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't ever do it, kiddo. Nice dino suit, though. Man, I don't think that's a suit. <laughs> I think it's a real dino body. So, I know cave folk haven't really learned to speak yet, but... Your son is making me feel a bit inadequate and weak here. Though, admittedly, this is not an entirely new feeling for me at the gym. <laughs> dodo. That is one angry looking bird. I haven't seen a dodo since the movie Ice Age. It reads under construction. Mountain will be open to the public as the asteroid show grows nearer. Asteroid show. Oh my god, the asteroid show. Oh my god, we gotta get out of here, bro. I don't want to see no asteroid show. Oh my god. Is he actually gonna put gum in his nostril? Oh my god. I was just clicking around randomly. Hi. <laughs> yeah, the dodo hmm. made a hole. What was that sound? What? Oh. <laughs> what? Sorry, did not expect you to talk. Well, I'm Osric. What the hell? I've never heard of cave folk speaking dinosaur. 
didn't know you had it in you, to be honest. Having such a small noggin and all. I see. I mean, they've got to be pretty tiny, right? Not to sound mean or anything. Right. Anyway. I love this. Holy crap. That's the sexiest dinosaur I've ever seen. <laughs> you look like you're ready to go to the office. Yeah, I should probably get back to work. Just came down for a little shut eye. The guys at the construction site are going to freak out when I tell them I met a talking cavey. You'll see, you'll be the talk of the whole village. What do you do when you're not taking a nap? I'm in charge of building the bleachers for the asteroid show. Asteroid show? Yeah, there's an asteroid coming down. We're all very excited. <laughs> Nothing too dangerous, I hope. No, 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 no. We've got it all mapped out. All dinosaurs will be safe up in the mountains. Front row seats of the crash site. And the cave folk? Only dinosaurs are allowed to get tickets for the asteroid show, I'm afraid. Oh. But you know what they say about eggs and omelettes, right? Right. Well, that explains the dinosaur situation. Tell me about the other cave folk. Oh, we take good care of the little buggers. Within reason. They're all hanging out at the cave folk daycare. I'm guessing that's where you ran away from, yes? Right. Cave folk daycare. Thanks for the chat. Cave folk daycare is just up ahead. You should probably get back there. Oh, before you leave. Yeah? Could you come just a little bit closer? Uh. Oh. Okay. I just want to have a little sniff. A, a sniff? What's going on here? Wait. You guys don't eat cave folk, right? So, anyway, you should probably be on your way. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was cool. This way. Meanwhile, on the ground. QP42. My dear brother. I promise you that your death shall not go unavenged. I shall study your logs and start plotting my revenge immediately. It shall be a revenge of such epic proportions that I shall give it its own name. Revenge, I dub thee Ruthless Unbound. All right, we're in some sort of city, are we? Or town? Let's have a look see. Crapotulous! That's a lot of hunting trophies. Hmm. The only thing I can make out is the plaque closest to the window. It reads, First prize in the category for best rabbit mating call goes to Abraxas the Illustrious for Rub Rubber Hub Hub. Rub Rubber Hub Hub. At least I know the rabbit mating call, I guess. Hmm. The note reads, Dear Patience, my medicine shack is temporarily closed while I, M.D. Abraxas, am attending another glorious hunting expedition. Come again soon. Hey, could you draw me out one of those three-dimensional cube thingies? Oh, are those rabbits you're drawing? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, this guy has drawn up plans and schematics for catching animals, all right. He seems particularly interested in rabbits. I guess they're the popular prey in these parts. I scribbled down the details in my notes. Hey, look at their clothes. It's just pixels. I wonder if it has picked up any of what the sleeping cavey is dreaming about. Probably dreams of hunting and feasting on meat. Those look retro even for this age. An ashtray? 
No wonder these guys went extinct. <laughs> Smoking. Mind if I borrow this thing? Whoa, a speaking cavey. You feeling all right? Well, thanks for asking. I, I do feel kind of lost, but I must admit this little adventure is kind of refreshing. Well, we better have the medicine dino take a look at you as soon as he's back from his hunting expedition. What's your name? Gee, I hate seeing doctors. But if you insist, my name is Justin. I'll make sure to put your name on his list, Justin. And now that you can speak dinosaur, will you tell the other caveys that hunting animals is strictly forbidden? Will they understand, though? Dinosaur, I mean. Hmm, I guess you're right. We'll make sure to keep an eye out for any cave folk trying to hunt or cook animals, then. Will do. As the keeper of the cave folk daycare, I'm responsible for all the cavies in the village, and there will be no eating of flesh on my watch. Got it. Anyway, about that seashell horn? Go ahead. Please don't blow that thing too early in the morning, though, or you'll wake everyone up. That thing is loud. Cool. You guys don't eat cave folk, right? No, no, that's all hearsay. And the rumours of cavies going missing overnight are just that. Rumours. Ooh. Well, thanks for the chat. Keep it vegan, cavey. <laughs> and let me know if you see any cave folk straying from the vegan path. Roger, Roger. Yo. That vegan dino said this thing makes a really loud noise. There's no way I can use this myself, though. I don't have the lungs for it. There's cold water in the pot. Hmm. I think that coal needs some lighter fluid. Hmm. I don't think that's even a real apple. Bill notes on catching rabbits. It seems traps can be constructed using bait and something to hold the bait in place. Combined with some sort of remote triggering mechanism. I guess we'll go back to the street for now. Somewhere in time. Yes, go on, QP43. And then I found him, but with his head. Yes? His head was. It was blown straight off, Doc. Crapotulous. <laughs> We're looking at a stone cold killer here, QP43. Yes, stone cold, Doc. And of course, I'm working on my revenge. Oh, of course. And are you making any progress? Oh, yes, I'm closing in on him, Doc. You can be certain of that. Scary. Alright guys, welcome back. It is a new day of playing Justin Whack. I have been looking forward to playing this game again. Rock Not thing. very artistic, but then again, maybe sculpting isn't a thing yet. Oh, true, true. This actually looks really artistic to me. <laughs> All in... Oh shit, I didn't even read that. Hey, this must be the daycare play area. <laughs> what the... Ah, oh, man, that's beautiful. Cool. Biker dudes. A caveman motorbike club. Of course, of course. The measurements look surprisingly accurate. Well, just like how they made the pyramids, we have no idea how they were so accurate. Hey, you look familiar somehow. Maybe we're related. Oh my god. I'm from the future, you know. Anyway, so you're also building a bike, huh? Looks like you're a bit short on wood for the frame, though, huh? I'll see what I can do. Oh, sweet. We're going to try and help him out. It amazes me. He's gone back in the past, and he's just going to help this guy with his <laughs> sculpture instead of trying to figure a way back. <laughs> Little did I know that the weed turned out to be a juicy carrot. I accidentally just picked a carrot up. You can hold down spacebar to see if there's... Anything that you miss to interact with, which is cool. I'm gonna throw a pebble at that bell and see what happens. Oh, 
Cool. A rice. <laughs> Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Not sure why you're so happy when you had no one running against you. <laughs> kind of like it when people don't understand me. I feel I can finally speak my mind. So, anyway, I'm glad we had this conversation. You spread the word now. No showboating on my watch. Oh, we got a sand shovel. You guys don't mind if I borrow this, right? Cool. All right, well, that was an interesting area. The all is well meadows. I wonder. How do we go back into the cave? Now that evil brother has been here, I wonder if anything's different. Yeah. So, I admit feeling a bit down over the whole Julia situation. Suicide seems a bit much though. <laughs> oh, is that what I'm suggesting? Sorry. Oh, I grabbed the mug. One water coming right up. Okay, so now we have a mug full of water. It looks like a cracked porthole in some kind of crashed vehicle. <gasps> I think there's someone on the other side. Someone with huge hands. Ooh, scary. All right, well, maybe we'll go back to the cave, man, see if we can do anything there. Hi, friend. Ah, so you finally grasped verbal communication, huh? That's just swell, Clute. I'm glad that apron doesn't say, kiss the chef. <laughs> Are you ever done stirring that coffee? Well, I like it just right, you know? Real smooth like. <laughs> I like those cufflinks. As do the ladies, Clute. As do the ladies. It's actually a picture of Animal from The Muppet Show. It sends the subliminal signal that under this dashing, civil exterior beats the heart of a savage animal. See you around, Reefs. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No metal in micro. <sighs> People have no sense of adventure. <laughs> Roll of tape. You reckon we can use the tape on this? Sure, maybe I could tape something onto that camera lens, but it would have to be more than just tape. Oh, okay. They don't really go to... Nice. Oh my god, that worked. Oh my god, I'm taping my pixels on <laughs> to the camera. Oh my god. Hmm. Is that you, Scruff Boy? Which floor would you like to go to? Bottom floor, please. Bottom floor it is. But first, let's just make sure you truly are an employee here at Mediocre IT. Using a rather limited number of pixels, it seems. <laughs> hmm. So I guess that's a face. Ah, whatever, Scruff Boy. Enjoy your ride. Oh. And by the way, someone is on their way up. Someone heavy. And metallic. Heavy? Metallic? Not sure I like the sound of that. Uh-oh. Okay, so that caveman should be here somewhere. I'm going to park my caboose right here until he shows. At which point, things will get real dark. And twisted. <laughs> dark? Twisted? Crikey. Could you maybe distract... Yes. Could you maybe distract that robotic guy in the hall for me? Hmm. I take it he's looking for you, eh? I'm afraid so, Reefs. 
I tell you what, I'm going to do you a solid. By not going over there and telling him about you. You know you're not being very helpful here, Reefs. This is the way. If you need outside help, I would look elsewhere if I were you. So I guess Reefs isn't going to help me. Who the heck's going to help me? Hmm. Black, empty. Cyan, empty. Magenta, empty. Yellow, empty. Okay, so my printed cartridge is completely empty. Do you reckon Justin could do something with the phone? This is the Parfonic. I, I... So. Oh, we have a couple of new options. Cavemen spotted causing havoc downtown. What a scoop. I'll broadcast the news immediately. <laughs> Did the caveman really manage to sneak past me? <laughs> what a curious message indeed. According to the intel provided to me by QP42, he shouldn't have left this building yet. No, my proverbial gut tells me to stay put. We're gonna have to try something else. This is the part I- Sorry. New episode of Agent Ruthless now available for streaming. <laughs> Juicy. I'll transmit the message immediately. New episode? Well, I'm not usually one to leave my post. But, <laughs> maybe I'll just have a quick look. Like an in and out kind of thing. Hey, lift thingy. Yeah? Open up before I get all dark and twisted on your wiring. Ooh. Easy, Tiger. I was actually hoping for a little more civility. AI to AI, I mean. Bah. My waste disposal protocol alone runs circles around your very primary matrix. Whatever, tough guy. Oh, I just know it's gonna be a good episode. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this game. Does that mean I can go down With now? all those pixels on it, I bet things look ca- Oh, look at this. Progress. Oh. Now you listen to me, young man. Whoops. Can you stream that show for me or what? This is Lenny speaking. Could someone please tell the robotic looking dude in aisle one to stop bothering the staff? Thank you! <laughs> if you only knew my powers, Lenny, you would tremble before me. <laughs> I should probably keep away from that particular place for a while. Wait, what was this called? Douchebag fashion? You gotta be kidding. Those are so not your color. <laughs> well, I say, what have we here? Hi, friend. I'm Clute. That rawness. That ruggedness. My friend, I see in you pure, untamed potential. Potential. Having or showing the capacity to develop into something in the future. Uh, yeah, quite. Develop into what, though? Okay, I'll tell you what. You, my good man, are a diamond in the rough. Behind that utterly crude facade, there is a top-tier douchebag just waiting to get out. But I like my crude facade. Then by all means, go your merry way. But if you're looking to get a date in this town, you might want to reconsider. Few can resist the lure of a fully manifested douchebag. <laughs> oh, I see. So what is a douchebag anyway? Well, it's who you are in your heart hearts. I see, and that heart guy knows how to attract lady cave folk? Cave folk? Well, humans, I guess. Oh yeah, uh, most definitely. Okay, so how do we let him out? By bringing forth the full douchebag makeover. What's that? Well, let's see. You're gonna need three things. 
Oh, I totally saw that coming. What are they? I'll write them down in my notebook. Well, first, we're going to have to do something about those clothes of yours. You're going to need a proper lumberjack-style shirt. My delicate sensibilities tell me that red is a colour of your inner douchebag. Unfortunately, I'm all out of red checkered shirts at the moment, so you're going to have to find one elsewhere. OK, then what? Secondly, you're going to need some matching spectacles. Glasses, my friend. A pair of red glasses? OK. And then we're going to give you a cut and a shave, which is not exactly for free. Lastly, you must bring me... Yes? One big bunch of monies. One big bunch of monies? I see. Yeah, come back when you have those three things and me and my barber will sort you out. We'll bring that sophisticated douchebag out for the whole world to admire. Okie dokie. Sounds good. Excuse me, could I have one of those computer sticks? Are you referring to the complimentary douchebag fashion branded USB keys? <laughs> mm-hmm. The new kind that goes with the latest pineapple computers. Pineapple. Mm -hmm. oh, I suppose. All right, Thank we you. got a USB for that computer, I guess. Wow, barber stuff. <laughs> Just steal it. Hi, friend. I'm Clute. I'm Oliver. A little busy here, Clute. Hi, friend. I'm Clute. She's fast asleep. Mind if I borrow these for a moment? She's fast asleep. I suppose I can borrow them for a while. Sorry, I'm keeping that bottle for my best customer. She usually needs a refill right about now. I'm pretty sure they said red glasses, didn't they? So it looks like we have blue glasses. A nice pair of blue glasses. I feel kind of bad for swiping these. Nah. Good luck. Sorry, what's that? Good luck with opening your barbershop business. I mean, you've got to have a good reason for pinching all my barber stuff, right? <laughs> ah, well. About that. Yes, I promise to make the most of them. Hmm, but no running with scissors. I won't. Hey, look at this. This is the same stone. Holy crap. The plaque reads, Boldrous Decorous. The oldest decorative boulder known to man. You reckon... If I do something to the stone, it will appear in the future? Probably, right? Casually steal a flower. It's totally empty. I would need something to dig with. What's this? Hmm. It reads, have you seen my caveman buddy? We are great chums. If so, please report to QT40. Not pronounced cutie. You'll <laughs> find me at the corner shop. Cutie. Oops, the banana peel fell down the grid. Crikey. Oh, oh no. But I feel confident that won't cause any problems later on. A banana peel always causes problems. But yeah, the silver system's the same as what we see in the past. I can see some of the letters people have posted through the slot. Hmm, maybe Julia and Jonas? A solemn piece. I'm gonna call it On a Hillside Desolate. Big, bright and shiny. Pretty evocative stuff. I'm going to call this one Metropolis Red, a solemn fanfare. Nearby. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to set up a profile on dateandmate.com. Jeez. I don't know about some of these guys, though. Almost makes me miss Justin. I'm going to give this thing a try, though. It's 
squids. I guess this is a club. I like this one. I'm going to call it City in Moonlight, a Twilight Mirage. Stop it, man. You're killing me here. <laughs> Very modern. I'm going to call it Le Apostrophe. No. Apostrophe Redux. That's it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Looks like there's an air guitar contest about to go down in there. Oh, cash prizes. Hi, friend. I'm Clout. Not on the list. You didn't really look, though. No need. Got it memorized. You are not the caveman we are looking for. You are not the caveman we are looking for. Move along. Mover. Hey, nice try, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. That apron. You wouldn't happen to be the new waiter, would you? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Ah, why didn't you say so? I'm Mike the Bouncer. Hi, Mike the Bouncer! Mate, I think you're late. You'd best get in there right away. Let's hope that B didn't notice. Look at that. Did you see that smile? What the hell? Hmm. It reads, Please report any suspicious caveman activity to QT40. Not pronounced QT. You'll find me stationed at the corner shop. Another nah, banana. Queen? I'm not falling for that again. So I suppose I could sift through all the rubbish in that bin. If you think it's absolutely necessary. Hey, why not? Hmm. And there was nothing there but a lot of smelly rubbish. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. It's calling attention to the upcoming release of Thy Heroic Orchard 3. Some sort of video game? Wow! This is a bold piece. I'm going to call this installment Pedestrian's Dilemma, A Dwelling. Oh, come on. This is torture. <laughs> Somewhat derivative, in my opinion. Reductive, even. I'm going to call this one Encounter Nonplussed. I could beat you up, you know. <laughs> Wouldn't be hard either. I don't know, man. I'm a caveman. Oh, it's Batman. Hi, friend. I'm Clute. Hi, Clute. I'm Drake. You must be the waiter, right? Uh, any sign of that chicken? Hey, I promised to have a look. What's with the superhero outfit? Well, there's this convention in the hotel a couple of streets from here. I'm going as Pupman. I just stopped by for some food first. <laughs> a couple of hours ago. Oh man, to the rescue. See you around, Drake. If I don't starve to death first. Other guests might need it, but if I ever need some ketchup, I know where to find it. Better leave it for the customers, but if I ever need some salt, I know where to find it. Well, I guess we know what he's gonna say about the mustard. Better leave it for the customers, but if I ever need some mustard, I know where to find it. There's no batteries in the remote. Oh. If this is watching television, I've got to say it's kind of overrated. Hmm, <laughs> that's a groovy tune right there. I stole a mouthpiece? And a guitar pedal. And I'm stealing lots of stuff. Don't know what to use it for there. Hi friend, I'm Clute. Ah, the new waiter. I'm Reginald, and I'm gonna call you K-Man. Okay. That's an expensive looking guitar behind you. You got that right? It's also the first prize in the air guitar contest. Nice. I'd like to sign up for that air guitar contest. So you think you've got what it takes, huh? Hey, if it's anything like dancing, I'm your caveman. Dancing? <laughs> you should know that I don't suffer fools on my stage. You've got to master all three guitar styles in order to have a chance of the prize. All three, huh? Yep. Chugging, blues and tapping. The whole enchilada. Hey, I've got this. I guess we'll see, won't we? 
I will make a public announcement when it's time for the competition. A poster outside mentions something about a poetry slam. Oh, so you're a poet now, eh? Let's hear some poetry then. Well... So... Yeah, that's what I thought, Hotshot. <laughs> anyway, the poetry slam isn't going down until way later. It's like the last act, if memory serves. OK, see you around. Hmm. Hey, I think I just saw B over by the bar. You better come up with a good excuse for being late, waiter. Whoa, I accidentally just stole a pint. So, you're the new waiter, I take it? Well, hi friend, I'm Clute. Well, you're all so late. Sorry, I got mixed up in this time portal business. Oh, I see. Yep, that's how I ended up in this world. Which, by the way, is way better than where I came from. I mean, there's not a dino in sight, right? Right. So I take it you're offering me a career in this fine establishment? If you want to call it that. <laughs> wow, I've got myself a job. Introducing Clute, man about town. Welcome to Squids. See the guy with the superhero costume over there? He's not some undercover robotic agent, is he? Hmm? I don't know about all that, but I know he's been waiting for his food for about an hour or so. No worries, I've got this. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You better put some salt on it first. Chef didn't salt it? Oh, I don't know how salty to touch the stuff. He oversalts everything. It's like his taste buds are immune to it. Oh my god, I'm just stealing everything. <laughs> I would need something to snap them off with. I have scissors somewhere. Got one. I have so much crap. It's unbelievable. Okay, that might have been just a tad too much salt. Sorry for the delay, Pupman. Okay, okay, okay. You might want to take a sip of that drink first. Okay, 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 okay. If you insist. Okay, okay, okay. Finally, some superhero grub. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> After the ambulance left. And worst of all, the paramedics told me that if only he'd had some drink left in that bottle before swallowing all that salt, he probably oh. would have been fine. Oh, I killed him. That's too bad. Yep, too bad. Anyway, <laughs> of course I'm going to have to fire Salty for this. Oh, are you sure he's to blame for this, though? Oh, yeah. These are typical Salty shenanigans. Sad, though. I know how hard he tried to stay clean this time. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Yep. I guess that about sums it up. Hey, while I deliver the bad news to Salty, why don't you clean up the place a bit? And don't forget to take out the rubbish. One second later. Typical youngsters tossing out perfectly good food. Boombox. There's no tape in it. So, you're the new waiter, huh? Well, they fired me, if you can believe that. <laughs> yeah, I heard, and I'm so sorry about that. What, you had something to do with it? Relax, I'm just kidding. I'm salty, by the way. Hi, friend, I'm Clute, man about town. So, anyway. 
You're feeling kind of blue about that job, huh? Curious way of putting it, but yeah, you could say that. I'm not even sure how it happened, to be honest. I guess I must have hidden some salt in the kitchen and forgotten about it or whatever. Gee, I feel bad. Hey, I brought this on myself. I could never steer clear of the stuff. Nice boombox. Yeah, I picked it up in the pawn shop just the other day. I can't seem to find any of my old cassette tapes, though. Nice chatting to you, Salty. See you around, kid. By the way, you should pay more attention to your recycling habits. I'm sure you tossed away something useful in that rubbish bin. All right, he just gave me a hint that I need to search through the rubbish Mind bin. Mind if I take that can? Maybe later, waiter. All right, let's search through the rubbish. Again. Sorry, mate. Hmm. All I found in there was that chicken bone that the superhero guy spat out. Ew. Oh, look at the pug! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hey, Dino! I see us cave folk finally overthrew our Dino overlords, huh? <laughs> well, good for us. You and your sophisticated ways. Always telling cave folk how to behave. What not to eat and all that. I can see you're a complicated fella. Hey, don't be fooled by their sophisticated ways. Them dinos are bad news, man. I'm gonna say, sure. But really, you know what's even better than a good guitar chug? Just kicking back with my buddy, the pug. Wow, what is that? I love that sound. Thanks a lot, dude. You really ought to know better than to break up a dude's riffage like that. Now my string is all kaput-like. Riffage, eh? Well, chugging, really. Chugging? Right. Hmm. Could you show me some more of this chugging business? Well, since I like you here, and this whole animalistic kind of vibe you've got going there, sure, I'll teach you the art of chugging, as soon as I can get a new string for this old fiddle. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I've got a string. Hey, Chugginola, try this. Hmm. That's a crazy heavy gauge string right there. Heavy as in good heavy? Well, let's find out. Oh, yeah. This is like a new level of heaviness right there. Thanks, dude. Hmm. I think I'm getting the hang of this chugging business. Heavy, rhythmic, and repetitive. Yeah, but the sound is just half of it. A good chug is just as much about the expression on your face. You've got to give it a good scowl, you know. Scowl, huh? Let me try that. <laughs> That's some good chugging right there. <laughs> A distortion pedal? Are you trying to insult me? <laughs> True distortion doesn't come out of a pedal. It comes out of your soul. If it's properly twisted, that is. How about a mouthpiece? Nah, I'd better hang on to it. Oh, there's lots of stuff we can talk to him about. Do you know anything about the blues? Not really. All I know is that to do it right, you have to have it, really. Have it? Yeah, you've got to have the blues to be able to play it, really. How does one get it? I don't really know. I think it's about losing stuff, though. Like your partner or job or whatever, really. Interesting. Justin will have it. Do you know anything about tapping? That Van Halen stuff? Nah, too technical for me. I'm all about the chug, really. Could you show me that chugging stuff again? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's it, dude. It's not enough to be heavy and rhythmic. You got to give it a good scowl, too. That's some good chugging right there. I just realized that I guess this is the tree that has the flies by it in the, in the past. 
Then think we went left here. I can see tons of coins glimmering down at the bottom. Coin shop. Hi friend, I'm Clute. They call me Leeby. So what is this place? Well, it's a pawn shop, isn't it? So I can sell you stuff for money? Yep, and you can also buy stuff. Be warned though, whenever I talk business, I tend to get a bit carried away. And sometimes my arms start to move around a bit. Noted. I don't want to say you've got a lot of junk here, but... Well, I'm grateful for that. These are all precious items looking for new owners. There's really no such thing as junk, you know? Apart from what elephants keep in their trunk, of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. That trunk thing you just said. Say one might need a big bunch of monies. Yeah? For a big bunch, you would have to give me something really expensive looking, though. Thanks for the chat. No worries. Welcome to stop by anytime. Expensive looking would be the expensive looking guitar, I think. That's just a load of old demo tapes. Back in the day, fans looking to get picked up by labels used to drop them off. Hmm, interesting titles. First of all, who's your A&R? A mountain climber who plays an electric guitar? Yep, a stone cold classic right there. Interesting choice. I've never seen anyone pick that one up before. It's just some old blues band that no one seems to have heard of. You can keep that one if you want to. Thanks. Oh, sweet. We're fresh out of cassette players, though. Sold the last one to this old timer not too long ago. I know, I know. Gigadeth are totally the better band. Everyone would agree. If only they took the time to compare the whole discography. That's just a fact. Hmm, there's a lot of old videotapes here. Thanks for showing interest in those old things. It's not easy to move those things these days. Drop it right now. There's no way I'm letting that one go. A stone cold classic. Kind of creepy, to be honest. That thing is no longer playable. Oh, rest in peace, Eddie, master of guitar tapping. That tape is actually still in working condition. Oh, I just snagged another one by the looks of it. This guy named Andre used to be in here all the time until he wore the tape out. I can't find the power button and I don't see a remote around. I have a remote. But no it batteries. reads genuine Jacobi's. It's finally time to dig up the past. Followed by a short essay on the reliability of these shovels. Hey, that's a genuine Jacobi's. And I'm pretty sure it's worth more than what you are carrying. Call for help. It reads Dela's hint service. Call for help. I believe she's some sort of puzzle master. Like any self-respecting pawn shop, it has a shelf dedicated to point-and-click adventure games. <laughs> Mostly contemporary stuff. Let's pick some titles at random. I see a game here called Gibbous. Man, those graphics look drop-dead gorgeous. Somehow, I think she would be confused getting a call from me. I heard she's right in the pause menu, though, should her services be needed. So I have one VHS tape and one cassette tape. The cassette tape we know where to go, and the VHS tape would go here, but we got no controller. Okay, the tape is in the VCR. Where am I gonna find batteries? Pet carrier. So, that pet carrier. Real beauty, am I right? Well, there's an awful lot of cat hair on it. Yeah, if you want to be picky. Hard to get it off, though. But I'll tell you what. I'll let it go for one small bunch of money! <laughs> Sorry, got a little carried away there. <laughs> I'll think about it. 
One small bunch of monies. Bone finger. That pointy finger thingy. Keep talking. I might be willing to take it off your hands. Oh, I'm sure you would. That thing is in mint condition, though. Not a single cat hair on it. <laughs> and it can be yours, provided you give me one medium-sized bunch of monies. <laughs> oh, sorry, got a bit carried away again. I'll think about it. Well, that was an interesting place to visit for sure. Let's go back to the cassette tape, I guess. Okay, that's the blues right there. Sit back and learn, kid. Hmm. I see. It's kind of slow and soulful. And it seems your lips must be shaped like the letter O. <laughs> That's how it's done. There, I think we've learned two types of music. Is that right? Maybe if I gave it to that tiny dino instead. I need. Oh, give the bone to the tiny dino. That makes sense. What's that? A chicken bone? Sure is. Keep that thing away from him. My buddy the pug only chews on human bones. Whoa. Okay, what if we go back to the office? We have a USB. Hmm. It would totally make sense for this pineapple computer stick to work with this computer slot. Yet it doesn't seem to fit. Hey, it said that I need a red checkered shirt. Wouldn't the tablecloth match a that? A folded red checkered tablecloth. Maybe I could use it with scissors? Okay, let's see if I can make this thing a little more interesting. Red checkered shirt. Oh my Check. god, that's amazing. Okay, so let, let me look at my notebook. That's what I should be looking at. Holy crap a moly. That's a lot that's a lot of stuff to do. I need to get one big bunch of monies. You know, we've done a lot as the caveman. I think it's time to go back to Justin. Oh, you can say something else to it. Is that not a real apple? This conversation is over. All right, well, uh, that was an interesting conversation. One water coming right up. Okay, so you can also fill your cup with this pot. That's always good to know. If I ever needed to break into that place, I would need something really strong to bend those bars. I can still have a look at what's in there, though. Willow. I didn't know there was a place called Willow. What the hell? It looks very occupied. Uh, by the looks of those feet, I'm not sure I want to disturb whoever is in there. It's a massive feet. Imagine going to the toilet after that. Bamboo stick, yay. Sunflower, yay. Whatever that is, yay. Though, I am looking for some wood. I just don't have it in me to hurt one of the caveys. Maybe if I could just scare them away somehow. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> you do know hunting rabbits isn't allowed, right? Oh uh, yeah, she said that anyone that breaks the vegan diet to let her know about it. Place in the shade. Hmm. All alone with my thoughts for a while. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. I can actually meditate for this actual amount of time. Holy crap. That was the longest 10 seconds of my life. 
So I'm obviously going to edit the video for you guys and make cuts here so you don't have to wait. But uh, I guess I'm going to me meditate for 10 minutes, take a break. I'll see you guys on the other side, I guess. That's 10 real minutes. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, why not? Okay. I guess we're actually doing this. See you in 10. All right. We are back. Looks like he's done. One coffee coming right up. Oh. Oh, I filled the cup with coffee. Smells like QP42 made a powerful brew. I'm not really in the mood for coffee right now, though. I saw some Kafo cooking rabbits over at the Willow. They did what now? Ooh. Leave it to me. I'll be right back. You guys are better not be cooking rabbits again. Oh, wow. They don't care. Oh, now they do care. When are you K-folk gonna wise up to the virtues of vegan living, eh? Oh. <laughs> Come back here, Orion. What? You think there's something down there all of a sudden? All taken care of, I stomped out the fire good. So now we know what's under the dirt in the future. I mean, it just looked like hot coals, right? Oh, maybe hot coals turn into diamonds in thousands of years? There's a lot of buried coal down there. Ladder. Oh, I got the wood. Meanwhile... A oh. talking caveman, you say? Yes, that must be the time traveler. Take me to him now, and I shall exact my vengeance upon him. Ruthless Unbound shall be... Well, unbound, I suppose. Wait a minute. You're not going to hurt any of the cavies, are you? Well... Who are you anyway, you're one funny-looking dinosaur, sir? Funny-looking, am I? What is this place anyway? This is hardly a fitting environment for kids, you know. It's not nearly ruthless enough. Ruthless? The caveys love it here. <sighs> How come you dinosaurs treat the cavemen like children anyway? Don't you know they will soon rise up and overthrow your kind? Oh, Poppycock. Besides, it's my job to keep the caveys safe, so that they're all alive and well come the nightly feast. Oh, I see. Oh. You eat them. Well... We've got to survive somehow. We can't all be eating vegetables, you know. Wow. <laughs> it used to be open season on cave folk, which made it very hard to catch any. But then the village council came up with this plan to earn their trust by opening this daycare. And now we can just pick them off one by one come nightfall. It's all quite civilized, really. Gary. Well, I say. That's actually surprisingly ruthless of you. But I must insist that you leave the talking one to me. It's a matter of honor. He has rendered my ruthless brother quite kaput, you see. Oh, I'm not privy to the nightly selection process. You would have to bring it up with the village council. There's probably some kind of form you'll have to fill in. Oh, great. Paperwork. Let's see if I can give my friend some wood. Hey. Here's some more wood for that frame. I guess you can't expect any words of gratitude from someone who doesn't know how to speak. But I think his bike is now ready for action. Okay, so I wonder if we're gonna race now. 
Oh, hey! Uh... <laughs> Finally, those thugs have some competition. Am I gonna help? <laughs> that shape just doesn't look optimal. I'm afraid no amount of weightlifting is gonna make me able to budge that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Crapotulous, the bikers won. Hey, is it true what that strange fella said? Huh? What did he say? He said that you're from the future, and that we dinosaurs will soon go the way of the Diploceraspis. Hey, I'm just a cavey. I don't really know stuff. So looking at this rabbit trap, kind of looks like I should be able to use a carrot mixed with something to hold the bait in place, mixed with a remote triggering mechanism. Boom! Oh wow, that this actually works. This is one perfect rabbit bait contraption. Looks like half of a rabbit trap to me. Now, if I could only combine it with a trigger contraption. Poop bags. Why do I have a poop bag? Warning label reads, content is flammable. No, really, we aren't kidding. Okay, that's flammable, that's good to know. I bet this thing could preserve stuff for a long time. Ooh, this could preserve stuff. Wait, preserve stuff? There's no point preserving something for thousands of years when you're already in the future. A cool looking guitar pedal. Hey, there's batteries in it. Oh, okay, we clicked on the guitar pedal and we got batteries. This is finally something is happening. Watch out town. The sheriff just got some bullets in his six shooter. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a remote so we can do something with that. Somehow I expected more from this whole television thing. <laughs> Red oh glasses. my god, that actually Check. worked. I was always thinking of ways to make the glasses red, and ketchup is the way to go, apparently. Mustard is yellow. Sure. Oh my god, you can fill up the princess cartridge with this. My artistic senses must protest. Magenta and red are not one and the same. Alright, let's try the remote control on the TV. Okay, let's have a look at this Van Halen live without a fret thingy. Wow, this Van Halen dude sure fiddles around a lot with both hands on the fretboard. And it seems to require keeping one's mouth wide open while doing it. <laughs> cool, I think I've got this tapping thing now. Maybe we can compete for the guitar now, because I think we've learned all three types of guitar. Meanwhile... Alright B, time for the big ear guitar competition. Oh, that thing. Just try and be a little more respectful to the participants this time, Reg. Hey, as long as they don't embarrass themselves on my stage, my stage is no place for riffraff. Sorry, can I just say, you look absolutely nothing like your profile picture, Mr. <laughs> Stubart. <laughs> oh, that was just a ruse to lure you out of your domicile. And now that the cat is out of the bag, I know you are somehow connected to one of the time travelers. Tell me everything you know or I shall disintegrate you on the spot. <laughs> Whoa. That's right. I'm ruthless, baby. So, were they both in cahoots from the start? Has the caveman tried to make contact? Tell me now or suffer the consequences. Silence, eh? Look, Stobart, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, luckily for you, you might still be valuable as bait for the caveman. Gee, I can't wait. So while you might be off the hook for now, know this. I'll be keeping a close eye on this town. Expect me in the shadows, lurking and scheming, until suddenly I shall emerge. To great dramatic effect. And so on. Yeah, I don't think the poetry slam is due for another two acts or so. Ah, 
I felt that went pretty well. See you again sometime. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, look who just walked through the door, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you a new ear guitar contender. Give it up for... The K-Man! I know, I know. He sure isn't much to look at, but let's give him a chance, folks. First guitar style, coming up. No! It sounds like it would require a whole lot of hands to pull that off. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> I feel like that sounds like the last one, which was, I think it was tapping. I could be wrong with it. Sounds like tapping to me. Pretty sure it's this one. Which is so technically demanding that you've got to keep your mouth wide open. Something like this. Looked downright cheesy to me, but let's hear the people's verdict. Really? You like that, folks? Okay, okay. So far, so good, K-Man. Round two. Now Eight. for the second style. Oh, we know this Whoa, one. Whoa, that sounds heavy. Sounds like chugging to me. Which requires a good scowl. Something like this. Looked kind of corny to me, but let's hear the people's verdict. Let's see if you've got the stamina to bring this home, K-Man. Round three, fight! And finally, the last guitar style. Sweet. Nice and soulful. Just the way I like it. Sounds like the blues to me. Which is so soulful that you've got to shape your mouth like the letter O. Something like this. Looked total cornball to me, but let's hear the people's verdict. Well, what do you know? We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, I knew it from the moment I laid eyes on him. What the hell? Shower off. I gotta say, you were a lot less pathetic than I expected up there. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. So what are you gonna do with the expensive looking guitar, K-Man? Oh, I'll think of something. Well, enjoy and uh, tell your friends about the Poetry Slam. It's going to be epic. Will do. All right, now we're going to go to the pawn shop. Yo, Libby, have a look at this. Hmm. I have it on good authority that it is expensive looking. Well, it may be expensive looking. To a layman. To me, however, I've got to say, it's not all that impressive. Well, I kinda had my heart set on a big bunch of monies. Oh, I bet you did. Tell you what, though. I'll trade your somewhat expensive looking guitar for... Yes? One of those rusty shovels over there. 
That's a genuine Jacobi's, a real high quality shovel. Well, it just so happens that I need the shovel. Okay, I guess. Deal. Okay, nice doing business with you. Oh, by the way, we have a strict no returns policy here in the shop. I sure hope this was a good trade. Now let's go dig. Everything's falling into place. Okay, let's find out what's down there. What the hell? No returns, huh? Not fair. After all I went through to get here. First, I learned all those guitar styles. One long monologue later. Only to have the shovel fall apart in my hands. Great. Another tiny dino. Probably here to gloat over my setback. Yeah? What? Dinos. Okay. I have a bone. So... Hey, Dino, you like bones, huh? Yes. The dinos of this era, such strange creatures. Oh, diamond. Whoa. <laughs> I bet some coal was buried there like half an eternity ago. Got myself some monies now. Wow, a real diamond. Someone must have squashed a whole lot of coal down there a huge while ago. You're not the boss of me, tiny dino. I told him. <laughs> Hi, friend. I'm Clute. Hi there, Clute. I'm Jason, and this here's little Orion. Are you saying you are the master of this tiny dino? Come again. Is this dino bossing you around? Or have you revolted and overthrown your former master? Well? He's not bossing you around, is he? No. Good for you. Where I come from, they boss around people like you and me all the time, telling us what to eat, how to dress and whatnot. Eh, uh, okay. Why would you keep a tiny dino around? Oh, they're the best. Best at what? Enslaving cave folk? Well, he's good at burying stuff. Bones and the like. What? Are you saying he's actually burying body parts? Well, in a manner of speaking, yes. I knew it! Before you revolted, did he ever try to eat you? Well... As a puppy, he did chew on a lot of things. Never a good sign. Where I'm from, people like us tend to disappear overnight. Really? Yep, every morning there was one less of us around. It's not like I have any hard evidence, but let's just say that I never saw our dino masters eat anything. Yet they never seem to be hungry during the day. That's quite a story. Mm-hmm. So even though this little Orion fellow may look harmless, I wouldn't turn my back on him if I were you. Take care, Jason. And remember, don't turn your back on that thing for a second. Eh, uh, okay. You have a nice day too, Clute. <laughs> Sorry, dude. No returns. So how do you like my diamond? Wow! Expensive looking enough for you? Yeah, okay. That's a massively expensive looking diamond right there. I suppose you want a big bunch of money <laughs> for such an item, huh? That sounds about right. Sorry, got a little carried away there. Hmm. Deal! Hey, I'm loaded. Yeah, but how many diamonds have you got, though? I've got one, and it's a big one. I bet this thing is worth 
10 big bunches of monies. At least. One big bunch of monies. Do we have everything? I think we do. The fashion, douchebag fashion. Ah, the douchebag in waiting. Got the stuff? Sure do. Oh, I love the shirt. Excellent cut. The glasses are fine too, if a bit sticky. <laughs> now let me just count the money. Okay. One big bunch of monies. Done. Now, are you ready to unleash that inner douchebag? Yeah. Well, I suppose I am. Well then, let's get to work. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Clue. Whoa. Impeccable. Remarkable. Damn right, unfathomable. Hmm. I don't look stupid or anything, right? I shall pretend I didn't hear that. Mate, look at me. I am looking good. Check out our notebook. Finish the dating profile. All right, let's go. The profile still needs a profile photo. Okay, so let's do this. One snap later. Okay, so I'm not sure about this new douchebag look, but the photo is now taken care of. I'd say the profile is done now. Hmm. What was that? Whoa! The dating site is going nuts! People seem to be going bonkers over that profile picture. I caramba! Mr. G. Threetwood, I say. Okay, I'm gonna back this guy before anyone else beats me to it. Oh, what's this? A lady with blue hair? Ding dong. Ding dong. Meet up for a drink at Squids. Crikey. It well, looks like we're done with Clute's story, and now we're gonna have to figure out Justin here. Alright guys, so I actually have to go on the game's Discord, and shout out to Seven. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but he's made me realize that I can go all the way to the left here, and I can keep going left. I don't know why I couldn't work this out for myself, I had no idea we could keep going left here. Okay, so it looks like the rabbit is here that we're probably gonna end up catching, and we have vines here. I also found out that the rocks that we lifted way earlier on uh, to help us get some strength is for this part. Excuse me. Make way for muscle man Justin Wack. Yeah. To keep fit, I'm going to keep one of you in my pocket. Wacky Jack. Okay, so now we have this circular rock and we've got a hatch. Ooh. That's better. Ha. <gasps> Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. No, no. Please don't do that. There's no way of knowing whether the power will ever be able to come back on again. Which would mean the end of my sorry existence. Hamster I think wheel. I would need to put something in there to make it work. Like a rabbit. Whoa. Is that a time machine? That's a bit of luck. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> I'm not surprised about there being aliens, I mean. It may freak people out, but it was always the scientific assumption. Not wrong there, buddy. While desecrating my deceased body is certainly an option, it's also considered a crime under intergalactic law. Oh, 
wouldn't want to cause an intergalactic trial or anything. I bet the legal cost would be massive. Hey there. This looks kind of complicated. Well, I, I suppose so. What are we looking at here? Well, that's my body on the floor. Or at least it used to be mine. You see, just as I was about to enter orbit, my ship collided with this massive asteroid. And when I woke up, I couldn't get the stupid hatch to open. Eventually, I ran out of food and had no choice but to transfer all of my biodata into my ship's computer. How did you end up on this planet? Oh, interstellar tourism. It's a hobby of mine. Earth was recently added to the list of destinations offered by the Transgalactic Travel Agency. This planet was supposed to be all the rage, you know. Sadly, the brochure failed to mention that blasted asteroid. Tell me more about this asteroid. Well, it was on a collision course with my vessel. Me bumping into it changed its direction somewhat. I sure hope it wasn't going anywhere important. Wow, he just destroyed, killed all the dinosaurs so, by the sound of it. Is that thing to my left a time machine or what? Yes. The Transgalactic Travel Agency included three interesting eras to visit while on this planet. It's a genuine Chronosphere 3K model, you know. Its power source didn't survive the crash, though. But I did tend to it as soon as I regained consciousness, and I managed to come up with a new power source. A rodent-driven contraption of my own design. Quite ingenious, if I may say so. Oh, I'm sure. You seem unimpressed. No, no, not at all. Though to be fair, when I realized I was trapped in here, I kind of wished I had opted for a less earthbound power source. Yeah, I can see how that could be a problem. <laughs> Anywho, thanks for the chat. Anytime. I appreciate the company, you know. I'm Bob, by the way. Not sure what's in store for me now, to be honest. Actually, please don't go. I appreciate the company, you know. Oh, I'll be back soon, Holographic Bob. Uh oh. So cute. Looks like there's some kind of ray gun behind that glass. Okay. Ouch! That just hurt my hand. I'm going to need something to get through the glass. A rock? Oh, well, yeah. hello there. Set phasers to stun. I should get this thing calibrated before I use it. Looks like this guy went through all his supplies of tin food. A sharp piece of glass. Looks like it's fallen out of that cracked spacesuit helmet. Whoa. Uh, Justin? What well, game over? You just pick up a shard of glass? With your bare hands. Let's try that again. Okay. Now, where was I? Uh, apparently not picking up a shard of glass with bare hands. What is this? A button. Oh, right. I clicked the button and then this opens. Oh, I'm taking this. Okay. Now, I'm an astute fella, and I know I've seen one of these things before somewhere. There's uh, no uh, huge hand on the other side of this one, though, so it's not quite as scary as the last one. Oh, it was the a big hand from the suit, maybe. I guess it looks like we need to get that rabbit captured somehow. Now, maybe we can do something with the bike. Sounds like a plan, but I don't want to risk messing up that wheel. Maybe I should find a way to practice using the phaser first just to get the hang of it. Oh, okay. Tempting, tempting. Ooh. But I don't want to deprive those eggs of their parent. I just want to knock it out for a while. What about gum on the glass helmet? Would that fix it? 
Repairing the broken helmet with gum. That would maybe work in a comic book. Not in real life, though. Okay. Let's see if I can get this thing Oh, calibrated. this is cool. <laughs> what can I say? A sudden burst of inspiration. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've got the hang of how to use this phaser thingy now. Oh my goodness. And that'll change in the future. <laughs> okay, let's see how we go. Okay. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Perfect. Go, mate, go. Let's give him a hand. Whoa. Godspeed, friend. <laughs> Godspeed, friend. Surprisingly involved award ceremony later. Ooh. Oh, is that for me? Special That's twig. That's the reward. A twig, is it? Well, I'm on it. <laughs> I would like to thank all those that helped me make this possible. Both of my opponents, and above all, my teammate, who I think I still see there on the horizon. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, that I just... That is one perfect set of a trap remotely contraption. Now, if I could only combine it with a bait contraption. Okay, I just fluked that. I was just combining shit. So the twig with the vines and then this with this. Et voila. A baited rabbit trap, complete with its very own remote controlled activation mechanism. That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Well, time to catch that rabbit, I reckon. Meanwhile. Will you stop whining and just tell me where you went? I demand to exact vengeance upon him. I demand to put a ruthless unbound into action. Wait, you actually gave your revenge its own name? Yes, what of it? No, no. Just checking. Put it here? Yeah. This will do nicely. Okay, he's Just doing it. Just give me a moment to set up this remote control beauty. Beautiful. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's do this. Much later. Okay, so it's not quite the rabbit onslaught I was hoping for. Come on, rabbit. Maybe if I try a mating call. A mating call? Didn't we hear about this before? Maybe I'm going crazy. Let's try a rubber... Rub, rubber, hub, hub. <laughs> Rub, rubber, hub, hub. That works. Gotcha. All right, we just put a rabbit in my pocket. So good to see you again. This awful robot character was here asking for you, looking to avenge his brother. Crapotulous! I'd better get a move on. Yay. Hang on, Julia. I'm coming home. <laughs> Ooh, where did I go?